to show you how to make a button for your Makey Makey that's more like a traditional button where you just press down on it and it will activate that key in your program. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have all the correct supplies. I have two pieces of cardboard that will be the top and bottom of my button that are already cut to size. You should use a ruler and a straight edge if you're making um, a nice square button to make sure that those are even. I have a piece of uh, construction paper that I'm going to use to make um, the top of my button look nice and neat. I have blue tape to clean up the edges, two pieces of aluminum foil that are going to be used in the button. Um, I have six of these little strips of cardboard that are going to be used to create the gap between the top and the bottom parts of the button. And then you either need copper tape or some wire to use to connect to make the connection points for the Makey Makey alligator clips from the top and bottom parts of your button. So the first step that I like to do is decide which piece of cardboard will be the top of my button um, and then I'm going to put on this construction paper so that it has a nice clean look for the top. So to do that I'm just going to take some blue tape. You could also glue it down first. I'm going to place it on my button. doing this all the way around until you get a piece that looks like this so um, that it has a place where you can either label your button or come up with a design that you like so continue doing that um, you also want to actually edge the bottom part of your button with blue tape as well using a similar pattern I'll show you how to get started you're gonna keep doing this all the way around until you get another piece like this so this will be the bottom, and this will be the top part of the button. Once you have those two top and bottom parts, the next thing we want to do is we need to make a conductive surface on both the bottom and the top. Okay, and we're going to do that using a piece of aluminum foil. So you take your piece of foil, and this is going to be the inside parts of my button. So this is the inside of the top, this is the inside of the bottom part of my button. So the nice neat side is the bottom. So I'm going to take this foil, place it here, and then just using some blue tape, I am going to tape this down. So this would be the bottom of my button, and you're going to do this for the top as well. So you want to have two pieces of your button, top and bottom, that look just like this with two pieces of foil so that when you place them they're going to um, make contact. So the next thing that you need to do now that we have our two pieces of foil on the insides of our button is we need to make some a gap between these two, the top and the bottom, so that they're not touching and then when you press the button down they are touching. So to do that I just cut some strips of cardboard and I'm just going to tape three strips together so that they stay together and then I'm going to use these to create the gap between the buttons. So to show you how I would do this and there's more than one way to do it um, I'm just going to stack them up and then just kind of wrap tape around them in a, at least a couple of different places to kind of create little bundles. You could also use a different material to create the gap inside. You don't have to just make it. You just need it to have a decent thickness. So keep taping until you get um, a bundle that looks nice and clean like this and isn't going to budge. So I've already gone ahead and taped two bundles together. The next thing that we're going to do um, before we place these, or we can actually go ahead and place these now, um, you're going to take the bottom part of your uh, button overall and take your two 
strips and then we are just going to either glue or tape them down uh, it just depends on what you want to do I'm going to tape it in a couple of different ways so first I'm going to make some little donuts and put them on the bottom of these little bundles of cardboard and then I'm just going to put this towards the edge of my the bottom part of my button and it feels pretty sturdy I could also add some extra pieces of tape to kind of hold it down in place two supports um, secured to the bottom part of my button. The next thing that I want to do is I want to cut some copper tape and I'm going to add this copper tape to the bottom part of the button to create a place for the Mickey Mickey alligator clip to actually clip on to um, the bottom part of my button. So I'm going to cut a length that's a couple of inches long. And when I place it, I want to make sure that it makes contact with this aluminum foil and then comes off the edge. Now something I like to do, there's still a sticky side right here, is I like to fold over the copper tape so that it kind of forms a closed wire like that and now it's a little tab that's not sticky. I could take a little bit of tape and actually place this over this part of my copper wire to help keep it in place. So now I have the bottom part of my button good to go. We just need to finish up the top. The next thing that we need to do is we actually need to connect the top and the bottom or secure them. A really simple way to do this is again using tape or glue. Now remember if you're using glue and you've made a mistake, you're going to have a hard time taking that off without damaging your button. So if you're not totally sure if it's right yet, you might want to start with tape and then once you know it works, you can glue it down. donuts ready for the top to be placed. I want to make sure that it lines up nice and neatly. Secure it on there and as you can see my button is pretty secure and ready to be connected to a project and tested out. So now that I have a project pulled up, and this is one you might recognize from our exploration day, all about that base, the way it's controlled is using the space key, so instead of the space key, we're going to have our own design space key. So plug the USB into your computer, plug in the Makey Makey to give it power, you'll see it light up, beautiful. Now one of these is going to, these copper tabs is going to be the ground connection and one will be the key that we want to control. I like to, as a rule of thumb, make the bottom part of the button the ground connection and the top part of the button the key that we want to control. So I'm going to use this white alligator clip and clip this to the ground part of my button that I've just made, the copper part. And the next thing I'm going to do is clip that into the ground part of the Makey Makey board. The last step that we need to do is take the red cable, the red alligator clip. 
a little bit of trouble with this one. And flip it onto the upper part of the button, which is going to control my space key. And then I just need to clip that alligator clip into space. If these covers are giving you problems, just make sure you pull them back. Okay, so now I am clicked into space. Make sure that the green flag is clicked on your project. Okay, and theoretically, if I push this button, it should trigger the space key. Because you know I'm and it works.